Hi everyone, we're going to take a look at the LSPWare Atrium mobile app. Uh, it's available on the Google Play Store, the Amazon App Store for Kindle, and of course on the Apple App Store for iPhone. You can download these and install on your mobile device, but you will not be able to use this system until you have been authorized by your Atrium admin. The first thing to do is to log in, and this is the same login as you would use for the interpreter portal. Set the Remember Me button so that you don't have to log in again the next time and click the Login button. And what appears next on screen are the current jobs that you have been assigned to. Uh, any jobs that are today will actually appear in red so it's easy to find them. Uh, the basic details of the job show in this view, but if you'd like additional details, and that would be all the details that would be available on the interpreter portal, just click that record, and the details that are available will show, including an address, which you can look up on Google Maps by clicking that address. and it will come up in a moment here. And there we go. The arrow in the upper left hand corner is used to return one screen at a time. So we're going back to the job screen. At the bottom you will see two buttons, one labeled start and one labeled stop. Uh, this is a stopwatch to record the actual time that you um, are doing interpreting. You can also use it to actually record your start time and end time if you like. It depends on what's required by your um, administrator. So to start the stopwatch simply click the start button and you'll see that the numerals are changing Likewise, you can pause if you have multiple events and you need to stop the watch between them. Simply click pause. You can restart again later. And when you have reached the end of this session, you click the stop button. You'll notice that the start button went away and the stop button now changed its label to actuals. If you are ready to record the time for your e-time sheet, click the actuals button and you'll see a record of the start and end time and any duration. We didn't allow the stopwatch to run long enough to actually record any time, but if it were a minute or greater, it would have actually modified the start and end time to match the duration. Now, if you uh, need to make any adjustments to any of these, like if the activity needs to be changed, you can choose an activity. Likewise, you can modify the start time by clicking on start changing the value of the start time. We'll say you started five minutes later than scheduled. And you can click the end time and modify it as well. Say you actually finished five minutes early. And now the duration, or the, excuse me, the hours are set to 0.83. If you are permitted to add an activity for mileage, you can also click miles and put in a value for that. Say 22.5. Uh, only uh, integer values are allowed. 
And then finally, any notes for the visit you can add in this field. Alright, if there is no signature required by your administrator, you can uncheck that box and simply click the Submit button. But it's more likely that you are going to require a signature for your timesheet, so we'll leave that checkbox clicked and we will now click the Signature button at the bottom. What comes up next is a field to hold the name of the approver. Simply type that in and then hand this to the approver to add his signature, which he can do uh, with his finger or with stylus. Now, if that signature is not acceptable to the approver, then he can simply click the X and start over again. So let's try starting over again. And we'll simply accept that as a signature. If everything is, is satisfactory to the approver, he clicks the, red, the green check mark and you are now prepared to submit these actuals. This is job number 1227 and once you submit the actuals this information will be added to the activity or as an activity on the interpretation request and the signature and date and time of approval will appear. So we will submit actuals now and you'll notice that we've gone back to the list of open jobs and that job no longer appears since you are not able to edit it hereafter. Thanks very much. If you have any questions, be sure to contact your Atrium admin.